blink and you might miss Passages Bookshop on Northeast MLK and Multnomah. But on a grander scale, this purveyor of rare books is drawing attention. Owner David Abel. It's kind of like, wow. Is still trying to grasp. And I got hundreds of messages. Let's go back to chapter one, the night of January 1st. That's when burglars broke into the shop, smashed display cases, stole cash, and nearly a hundred rare books. It's a crime of opportunity. I can't know, you know, what's in their minds. We covered that break in. So did the Oregonian, which mentioned one stolen book by name. Patty Smith complete lyrics, reflection and notes from the future. Smith saw the article and called David from New York. He said I saw that one of my books was taken and I can't replace the Warhol that you lost, but I thought I could send you some copies of my books, some signed copies of my books. I was speechless. I said, that's so kind. And she said, well, I really love bookstores. Shortly after, a box of books arrived, all signed by Smith. I was stunned, yeah, yeah. In gratitude, I have a little display of Patty's books right now. Soon others reached out. An artist in Tokyo wrote to me. And offered to help. She had a book that was on the list that she wanted to send me her copy of. From rare book dealers. Two boxes just showed up unannounced. To poets. A poet from Buffalo just wrote to say he wants to send me a book. It's just an amazing kind of response. Police don't have any suspects, but this kind of plot twist eclipses any story's villain. There are moments when I doubt what I'm doing, but um, it's really helped to have that kind of response. And while David may never recover his stolen books, this outpouring speaks volumes about the medium itself. It reaffirms what I already knew, which is that the book is not disappearing. In Northeast Portland, Catherine Cook, KGW News.